What's up, y'all? Welcome to Epiphany Tarot. I am here to do the daily reading. I know I've been in my A for like a couple of days, y'all. Look, I've been busy, okay? But I fucked with y'all. Y'all know I'm gonna come back, okay? Every time. Um, what's I gonna say? I had something to tell y'all, but I forgot. Anyway, it's a new month, y'all. It's February. What's good, February? Okay. New month, new goals. Oh, that's what I was finna tell y'all. I started meal prepping yesterday. So, that's why I didn't get a video out because that shit took me too long. But yeah, y'all, I'm excited. I'm on this new journey. I'm feeling good. I don't know. I feel like February is coming in with some exciting energy. So, I don't know what's up. It's a lot of stuff. Y'all, like, I don't know about your city where y'all is, but it's been a lot of commotion going on about concerts and stuff we have you know everybody know beyonce just went on tour um so if you go into that you know good for you but i know lou wayne is coming to my city we got paramore fallout boy coming um we have a kim concert that's on the 16th of march i don't know if you mess with kim for for you neo soul lovers but it's a lot of people coming, a lot of people that I want to see, so I'm excited, and then, you know, y'all, like, I just been eating cleaner, and I've been feeling better, you know, I've never, like, had, like, a really bad, like, diet or food choices, but sometimes I get a little lazy and don't be feeling like cooking and shit, but I've actually been putting the energy and effort and the time into making my meals and choosing the right stuff and paying more attention, and, you know, I've actually been feeling like a lot better from the food selections that I've been making. So, you know, small changes and shit. And I'm excited. I've been drinking more water. And let's go 2023. Like, I'm so excited. But anyway, y'all, I'm happy to be back on here. What's up? Okay. What's up, y'all? Period. Anyway, let's get into this reading. Um, I didn't even read this card. We got number what is this 12 um so somebody's birthday could be on the 12th i don't know but we got number 12 it says artificial heart and you see this collar around her neck so whoever this is this person is still attached to something it could be a female but somebody out here is still connected still attached to something still in a relationship with something or someone that's like dead and over with like this person is look at her this is artificial heart it's like this female has been in a relationship with somebody for so long to the point where it's she's like numb to it like she's used to this person's shenanigans she's used to this person's bullshit it's like her opinion doesn't matter her voice doesn't matter like she's over trying to fix it yet she won't leave like she feels still like she's still attached to this situation to the point where it's just like her heart is not even beating real blood anymore. Like whatever this situation is, the emotions or whatever she thinks she feel for this situation is like not real. Like artificial heart. But I'm going to read it out the book because I haven't got this card in a long time. Uh, yeah, it's like this woman has been like she's one of them. Like look at her. She like she's zombie fight, right? Yeah, so she definitely in the matrix, okay, period. Um, yeah, it says bargaining. This card speaks to bargaining. Bargaining in this book, it says, once anger subsides and we have exhausted our strength, we try to cope with the grief by postponing it, making it less severe or less urgent. We try to talk our way out of the consequences, accepting what we want to hear and rejecting what we don't. Yeah, so people could have been telling this female, like, girl, you know, you need to leave him, boy, you need to leave him, or you need to, it, it don't even have to be a relationship, it could be anything, it's like, you gotta stop doing this, you gotta stop doing that, and this person, they just don't want to hear the shit, you know what I'm saying, it's like, it's been falling on deaf ears, this person don't want to hear that shit, so now it's like they're walking around like a zombie, like, this is somebody who can't, who keeps doing the same shit and like you know i feel like multiple people have tried to tell this person and this person is just like not trying to hear the shit so this person may be coming out to other people like delusional or a little off or it's like people starting to like side eye this person like what are you okay or like what's going on with you or something like that 
Um, yeah, this this female, this card is speaking to like a robot. So this is a robotic type of female. It's just like she's programmed. Duh, in the Matrix. I just said that like she's programmed. Like this bitch is, I, she is not tapped in. She's not enlightened. She don't, I don't even know if I heard the intuition got to be something. It's got to be somewhere in there. You know what I'm saying? But she definitely needs to tap in. And unfortunately, oh, I was getting ready to say something. But before I say that, let me see. Uh huh. Job and numbers without refuge in a rational mind, which turns to give us the illusion of control. Yeah, this is somebody who wants to be in control of a situation, so they have like created this illusion to where if I stay in this connection or I stay doing this or I stay connected to this with their leash on, I'm in control. No, you're not. For some people, this could even be somebody who, who somebody they got left, you know what I'm saying? They're masculine or a person or somebody like left them, they're like gone. It could be their family, their children. Like, we're just done with you because you know, this is like somebody that you cannot help. So, it's like people have been leaving this person and they're still trying to act like they're in control of a situation and they're not. Mm hmm. What it says, what if even an artificial heart could be and fall in love or and drown in sorrow? So, yeah, it's like this person. For some of you, this person knew that this, whatever this person is going through, they knew that this shit was coming, okay? They knew that this shit was coming. And now that it's here, there's like they're in denial. It's like they're creating an illusion. They're still in control. It's like this person is trying to, this person is trying to keep from like losing their mind or having a nervous breakdown, like real shit. I feel like this person is like on edge. Like this is one of those people where, you know, unfortunately, and God forbid, if they were to do something for them to themselves, it would seem like so shocking because this would be the type of person who seems like everything is fine. Everything is OK. Like you would never know that this person is like this deep, like this deeply programmed in this shit to where they're living in a false reality. Like this person is not in tune with what the fuck is going on. Changes have taken place. T the, the divine timing has shifted a lot of things a lot of cycles and chapters have closed out this person is still trying to hold on to something that no longer exists in their mind it exists but in reality like what's going on around everybody else it, it, this person is not living in the same world so i don't know what's wrong with this person like like real shit Oof. Mm -mm. all right all right, first three cards we got out as if this isn't self-explanatory, but we got focus. It says eyes for you, fascinating, watching. So collect if you have somebody who's completely focused on you, they're watching you, whether it's literally social media, wherever somebody's watching you. Then we got projected future days, weeks, months. So this person is watching you because I feel like they're planning to step forward and I don't know if they're gonna say something to you or something. Um, it says days, weeks, and months. So for some of you, this could be in the next couple of days. Others of you, next couple of weeks. Others of you, next couple of months. But I feel like this person is watching you because they're trying to see, you know, they're trying to come up with some type of plan about how they can, like, come towards you and shit. And then we have pop-up. So it says spontaneous, unexpected surprise visits. So maybe this person might pop up on you at your house. Hopefully not, because you should just show it to people how, especially not in this day and age. But that pop up could also just be anywhere. You know what I'm saying? This person is watching you and shit. So this could be like in the next couple of days, you end up seeing this person at the store you go to, or you see them somewhere in your neighborhood, and you'd be like, "What the what the fuck is our odds or the chances that I see this person?" It's because they've been planning on doing this days, weeks, and months. They've been planning on like popping up somewhere that they know you go where you be and shit just so they can run into you and then on the bottom of the deck we got access granted it says social media fake profile hiding so yeah this person somebody's watching you from a fake profile or a fake social media or motherfuckers been trying to send you friend requests and, and you don't even know these people it's just like what the fuck like who are these people where you've been getting like unexpected followers and shit you just like where is who is this you know what i'm saying it's this person like trying to watch you and shit 
somebody is like real creep mode out here. Yeah, but this woman, she just like, it's better to be in this illusion than to face the pain of this heartbreak if I if I face reality. Like, somebody out here is like completely fucking delusional. Like, real shit. Like, this is like, this is like extreme escape, escapism. This is like, no matter what the fuck is really going on around a person, they refuse to acknowledge that shit. They rather believe what the fuck is going on in their head instead of acknowledging what the fuck is really going on. I feel like it could be shit falling apart in this person's life in several areas. I'm hearing uh, money, relationship, family. Those are the three that I heard the strongest. So I feel like people are not fucking with this person. Their money is kind of, is definitely funny and... Hold on, y'all. Their money is kind of funny, and they're just mentally. It's just like, are you like, do you realize what the fuck is happening here? All right, y'all. Give me, give me three cards, spirit, before we get into the tarot. Yeah, unexpected income. So this gives me like six of pentacles vibes. So this person is watching you. I don't know if they're planning on giving you some sort of money or they think that you can help them with some. Because you see how one person, you see how he has on like a suit or, you know, some sort of dress clothes and shit. Look like he got on cufflinks and shit. And then the other person, their clothes are tattered and frayed and shit. So it's like somebody's watching you because they need some sort of help, some sort of financial assistance. And they think that you, they can get it from you. So for some of you, this person's watching you because they feel like you're stable or they know you got money or you know how to make money. It's like something more that you have than this person. This could even be the day for some of you because this is the daily reading. Even though this card say future weeks, days, and months, this person could have already been planning this shit for weeks and days and months. So for some of you, this shit could possibly happen to you today or this weekend. But anyway, um, yeah, so somebody may need your help. Yeah, because this is number 27. So with the, not the, excuse me, number 27. Seven plus two is nine. So somebody is looking at you in this nine of pentacle energy. Like you can help them because you got your shit together. Like real shit. Give me another card. Yeah, look at that journey. So some of you could be planning a trip. Um, it could be 10 months from now, 10 weeks from now. I know people are anticipating the summer. Um, or it could even be in October or something. I feel like a lot of you have a trip planned for like later on in the year type shit. Um, but yeah, somebody may have to travel towards you. Or whoever this person is, they may have to travel towards you. Maybe they live at a distance or something like that. Eyes pop up here. Well, I feel like this person, if they're trying to come towards you, but this could be like literally or figuratively. So for some of you, this person literally does have to travel because they don't stay close to you or whatever. Um, but others of you, it's just like this person had to leave something or someone behind in, in order to come towards you. Like, real shit. Like, something, I feel like that 10 on there, something ended for this person that they had to leave behind or they closed the door on in order to come towards you type shit. And like I said, for some of you, this could be literal. Like, they literally had to pack up their bags and leave where they were to come to where you are type shit. Um, pop up. I just, I'm looking at this card and it says pop up, but I just heard pop the question. So somebody may like try to attempt to marry you or propose to you collective. Be aware. Okay. Valentine's Day is approaching. You know how people get, you know. Yeah. Look at that despair. Ooh, yeah. This person. Yeah. Look, it says not hiring. So this person is struggling to find a job or. 
you know, or they work a job that doesn't pay them enough, enough money and shit. It's like somebody out here is in despair. You know what I'm saying? For some of you, this person may not have nowhere to go. Yeah, somebody really needs your help. Uh, I feel like. But I feel like when they come towards you, they're not going to, like, make it seem like that. You know, that's why I said pop-up is out here. So, for some of you, this person is going to do something like just pop up at your house or pop the question. And you're just going to be like, where is this coming from? Like, what, like, what you mean you want to get married? Like, it's like somebody's going to be trying to impress you by doing something extreme. But it's, go it's like, it's only because they're in despair and they need help. This is somebody in survival mode. They feel like... Wherever this person was at, whoever they were with, it's ended with the 10 on there. Something is old, it ended in this person's life. Now they're coming towards you because they see you in this nine of pentacle energy and they need help financially. So it's like, it only makes sense. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to kill two birds with one stone. I'm going to be in a relationship with the collective and I'm going to be back on my feet. I'm going to be back stable because the collective will take care of me. No, I don't know who the fuck this is, but they got the game fucked up. Look at you on the bottom of the deck, toiling labor. A lot of you are at work. Like, you're at work making money, and you do not care. Yeah, look at this shit. Yeah, the community is watching you, too. I don't know. I feel like a lot of people want to know what your next move is finna be. You know what I'm saying? They want to know who you finna date next, where you finna go next. Like, you know, the community is all up in your business and shit. And we got adjudication out here, too. So, it's a man and a woman out here in spiritual court, spiritual jail, behind some shit that they did to you. They're getting karma because that's the justice card. They're happy to answer for their shit, the judgment. They're having to answer for their shit. And, like, the community is watching you. I don't know why the community is watching you because you look like you're not paying attention. You got your head down and you're focused on something. So, I don't know what these weird ass people got uh, got going on, okay? All right, give me five cards. Let's see what zodiac signs resonate with this reading the most or could be involved in this shit, okay? So this person's sign, this could be your sign or this could be the person involved sign or whatever. With the most prominent signs. Mars. So some of you, this could be Aries. And like I said, somebody's getting ready to take action. They're going to do something because that's, that's Mars energy. And Aries season is not that far away either. So we, it's saying a future weeks, months or whatever. But some of you, this could be in March when they, I mean, ooh, because I said March. Um, for some of you, others of you, it could be in April and every season, but well, every season is in March too, so that's probably why they made me say that. So, yeah, so I don't know, it could be a March Aries for some of you, but yeah, somebody here is definitely gonna try to take some sort of action. Yeah, we got Earth signs, so it could be a Capricorn, Taurus, or a Virgo for some of you. We got Saturn, so heavy on the Capricorn here. Scorpio. Libra. On the bottom of the deck, somebody out here could be a Libra, Scorpio, Cusper. Uh, yeah, then we got Devil. I mean, ooh, I said Devil. Wow. This is Capricorn, but I said the Devil because I looked at the depiction. But for some of you, this could just be a Devil energy. It doesn't have to be a Capricorn. So this is somebody like low vibrational and obsessed with you. This is somebody that you view as toxic that's getting ready to do this shit. So... Be prepared, collective. Like, people are getting desperate, okay? Like, the despair card is out here. Ooh. Somebody's going through a lot of changes with that number 32 on it that breaks down to a five. And it's like they're in a desperate position in their life and they see you in the best position of their life. So they're going to try to take some sort of action. This is almost giving, like, like, what else do I have to lose type of energy?
Yeah, I just kind of seen the um, Ace of Wands reverse over. Some of you, you're not interested in this person. I'm telling you, this is going to be a waste of time. This person, whatever they're doing. Yeah, look at that. Sun card reverse. This person's not happy. They're depressed. Their health is not doing good. This person feels doom and gloom over their life. It could be a Leo, but because the sun is in reverse. But the sun reverse just indicates like poor health, depression, um, just not being happy with life. You know what I'm saying? This could, it, like, this person could feel like there's, like, some sort of dark cloud looming over their head and shit. All right, collective. Let's see what's going on. February 3rd. Happy birthday to the Aquariuses. It is still y'all season. I hope that y'all been enjoying it. Look at that. Page of Swords tried to flip out with the King of Pentacles reverse. Oh my God. I ain't even pulled no cards yet. And these flipped over while I was shuffling. Oh wow. The King of Pentacles reverse and the Page of Swords. I told you something is going on with this person's stability. They can't find a job or they're broke. This is a male gold digger this is somebody who gets into relationships and from for money and shit and they're bad with money this could be somebody who has some type of hustle as well they could sell weed sell whatever they do something on the, on the side or under the table to make money it's probably not doing that well at this time like this is just somebody who's struggling financially and they see you they're watching you page of swords and they're just like hmm what if i make an offer like this person is not being genuine you have somebody looking at you for your money Money and it could be an earth sign in Capricorn to it or a Virgo. All right. Spirit want to make that clear. So be aware of somebody trying to come in and make amends with you or get cool with you or whatever the fuck. Like, don't tell this person. Even if they see you online doing your own thing or whatever it is that they do when they think you may have money and this person comes towards you, don't even confirm that for them. And this person gets to ask you questions about where you work at, what you do and all this type of shit. Don't tell them shit. You don't got to tell nobody your business. Like, this person asks you where you work at, oh, just say you work in the field of whatever. I work in the field of edu education. I work in the field of mental health or something like that. You don't have to say what you do or where you work at. Like, protect yourself at all costs. Keep people out of your business. Because I'm telling you, somebody out here is in survival mode, okay? This is somebody who's trying to get to know your business or find out what you do. And they think you're going to have some type of money so that you can help them know. Now I hear that noise. That's your girl, Onyx, okay? She was just being quiet. Now she making noise and shit. Two of Wands reverses. First card out. Two of Wands reverse. This is somebody who chose the wrong path. This person in the past, they had an option to, to go in a different direction, to forge a new path, to go a different way. They chose not to. They let fear keep them stagnant. So they just decided to stay where they were. Basically, two of Wands reverse. They didn't choose the new path. They just stayed where they already was at out of fear. You know what I'm saying? So this person essentially made the wrong decision. Um, not making a decision is a decision. So if this person was like trying to put you on pause or keep you on hold or not sure what they wanted to do and all this type of shit, it, it's, fate has decided it for them because they've taken too fucking long, period. Yeah, look at that. Ten of Pentacles. Ooh, look at that. Ten of Pentacles. This is y'all, okay? Y'all are the divine legacy. The Ten of Pentacles belongs to you. The, the, the generational legacy, the generation generational inheritance belongs to you. Okay, Ten of Pentacles. People, look, it's two tens out here. People know that about you. Like, I don't know how they know. I don't know if it's because of, like, just how you live your lifestyle or whatever the fuck. But people know, okay? They know that you are destined for greatness. For some of you, you have a good job. They know. That's what I'm saying. It's just, like, based on, like, where you work at, what you do, how you live. People just see your life as stable, like it's longevity. They see you having money for a long, long time. It's like 
people know you're blessed. I told you like the mask is off. People can see people for who and what they are. So just like collective, we can see the snakes and the fakes for who they are. People see you for the light being that you are too. They know that you are the chosen one. They know that God keeps taking care of you, keep blessing you because you didn't got this far. The proof is in the pudding. Like God has shown favor over your life by how he's kept you. So Ten of Pentacles, people know that you're destined for that or, or you're already there. Or somebody out here feels like if they come towards you, they'll have this. The Ten of Pentacles, longevity, stability, generational legacy and shit. Yeah, look at this shit because you're the earth angel, period. Archangel Michael out here. But yeah, this is y'all. Look at y'all. So you're destined. Ten of Pentacles with the, earth, with the earth angel, with the temperance. Some of you could be a Sagittarius, but yes, you are destined for greatness, like stable longevity. Whatever y'all doing, whatever y'all work at, I feel like you're going to be there for years to come, okay? Ten of Pentacles, some of you are going to buy a home from whatever this is that you're doing. You know what I'm saying? You're going to have a lot of investments. You're going to have a lot of generational wealth built up from this. Um... Shit, some of you can have a lot of money now, shit. Sorry, y'all, my eye. Oof, okay. We had tempers. A lot of you, you're healed. You're in your purpose. You're in alignment. You're at peace. You're content. Like, the temperance card is, like, chilling. This is, like, you waking up every day, you know, just doing your regular routine, being content. Nothing is disturbing your peace. You know, you get up, you go to the gym. Like, maybe you watch a little TV or, you know what I'm saying, you go walk your dog. You know, you just do whatever it is that you normally do. Like, you're you're peaceful. You know what I'm saying? You're doing, you get up every day, wake up, everything is fine. Nothing is wrong. Bills are paid. Like, you're just unbothered. Like, real shit. And the bottom of the deck is the lover's reverse. Yeah, somebody here is codependent on your energy. Somebody out here could be attached to another situation. But like I said, I feel like they're getting ready to leave that or they already did. But whoever this delusional ass female is, she doesn't want to believe that this person is leaving her or she doesn't want to believe that this person is not coming back. Like the lover's card is like a co is like codependency. Like real shit. Like the lovers, lovers reverse is a one-sided relationship. This is like when you're in a connection with somebody, and it's like it seems like love, but something is off about it. It's just like one person is doing more work than the other, or one person is carrying the weight of their relationship, and the other person is just there. Like this is one of those uh, relationships where yeah, the sex is good, but the rest of it is like draining and shit. Like you can't get you can't get right or you can't get on the same page with this person but that's because like this isn't the right person the lovers is in the reverse so nine times out of ten this is a karmic situation this is um a person that you're involved with because there's a lesson here that needs to be learned so either you're still involved in this type of lovers reverse connection with somebody or this other person that's trying to come towards you is and the lovers is in i mean some of you could be a gemini with the lovers reverse but like I said, for some of you, this is somebody that you was in a lover's reverse type of connection with before. And this is the person who's trying to return now that they see you as the Ten of Pentacles and the Temperance. Uh, these people are always trying to come back, you know. But desperate times call for desperate measures. A lot of these people, they didn't make the right choices in their life. So they are desperate. You know what I'm saying? Desperate to get back on the winning team. Desperate to get back with the people who they realize now actually was really truly supporting him and there for them and shit you know but a lot of these people fuck this shit up bars of two of wands reverse Ace of Swords, and that means it's the truth. Everything I've been saying up until this point is the truth. Ace of Swords. Yep, that is the truth. Ace of Swords came out on top of the two of wands reverse. This person chose the wrong path, or they just chose not to make a decision. They were they chose to be stagnant. They didn't want to, they were too scared to go on a different path or to go on this new journey with you. So you left this person behind. You know what I'm saying? That's the Ace of Swords here. 
Yeah, I told you the truth is out. The clarity, the way people see you is clear with the Ace of Swords. Period. People know that you're the truth. They know that you're the earth angel. People know that you really try to help other people. You really try to be there for somebody or some people and shit. And motherfuckers like, did you dirty? The truth is out. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -mm. That's the Ace of Swords here. Somebody vision is clear on the truth, okay? Ace of Swords, yep. Look at this. Sun card reverse came back out. So some of you, this could be a Leo. But like I said, somebody out here is depressed because they know the truth. They know that because they didn't, they chose not to take the path with you is why they, they feel this sun card reverse. They know this is why they feel depressed. They know why this is this is why they feel lost. They know why their health is declining. They know why they just feel stuck in this rut, like this cloud looming over their head. They know because you were the truth, Ace of Swords. It's like the, their vision is clear now. They're not living in an illusion no more. They realize that you were the best thing that ever happened to them. And the fact that they lost out on it or they let fear keep them from mo moving on this new path with you. They're depressed. Sun card reverse. They're depressed about that. Mm -mm. So I feel like you're doing good, Collective. Ten of Pentacles with the Temperance. A lot of you are building generational wealth. Or like I said, you're in careers where you're going to be there for a long time. Whatever it is that you do. You know what I'm saying? Like, Ten of Pentacles is a long last time. Some of you are destined to a solid marriage, solid relationship. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, yeah, you lost out big time. Where the fuck this is? Woo. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? Yeah, look at that. Six of Cups. I'm telling you, some of y'all are going to have a soulmate. Some of y'all, I feel like this, this Six of Cups feels new to me. So for some of you, this is a new person that you're going to be dealing with that you're going to really feel like is your soulmate and you're going to be making memories. This person is going to bring out your childlike energy. You and this person are going to do a lot of fun stuff together. Do a lot of things that feel childlike, like go-kart racing and that type of shit like this person is going to bring out is going to heal your inner child whoever this new soulmate is others of you this is also your past person too your ex with the six of cups who feels this way about you this person feels like when they were with you they felt like this with you but like you know what i'm saying so you have a new soulmate and an old soulmate i don't know why i'm picking up off of two i'm picking up two energies off that six of cups some of you could be a scorpio why is the six of cups here Yeah, somebody is like, they're missing you. They're dreaming of having a whole nine yards with you. The Ten of Pentacles is marriage. The Six of Cups is children on this card. Somebody wants like house, kids, cars and shit with you. Like, what the fuck? Oh, it's the Six of Cups here. Yeah. Yeah, look at this. Nine of Cups. Wow. Oh my God. Something. This, whoever this new soulmate is, this is going to make you so happy, Collective Nine of Cups. You're going to be so happy. You're going to be so content. You're going to be feeling like you're getting what you want. You're getting what you deserve. Like, oh wow. Like, Six of Cups and the Nine of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. You are going to be happily married, okay, in the future, okay? Because some of you, you may have to move. Maybe this person is not from your city or not. they're not from your state. So I don't know if you're going to meet this person traveling. Or you could still meet this person in your city. Maybe they're traveling and they end up, you know, somewhere close to you and you run into them. And it's going to be like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's going to change everything. Why is it not to you? You are going to be so happy. That's real shit. See, this person is this person wants to come towards you because they 
This person wants to come towards you because they miss you. Six of Cups. They see the potential. They realize that they could have had the Ten of Pentacles with you. And they realize how happy they were when they was with you with the Nine of Cups. However, this person is under judgment from a previous relationship that they were involved with. Judgment reversed with the Ten of Cups reversed. I told you this person is under judgment from a previous relationship with this woman that they were in this lover's reverse connection with. This was never the person that they were supposed to be with. So for some of you, this person could have been with this person for a long ass time. But it was the wrong person to be with. The lovers is in reverse. The lovers, when the lovers is upright, this talks about a blessed union, one that's blessed by the angels, one that God and the angels approve of. When it's in the reverse, this is not the right relationship. They were with somebody that wasn't the right person. But they may not have realized it at the time because they were thinking like, well, shit, I invested my money, my time, my energy with this other person. This has to be the right person. But it doesn't matter how much time and shit that you invest in somebody. Like, they're not the right one. They're just not the fucking right one. And like I said, this person didn't realize it then, but they realize it now. So now this person is sitting up, missing you, six of cups, thinking about how happy you made them with the nine of cups, thinking about how y'all could have did it big and had the ten of pentacles and all this shit. But judgment reverse, they're getting karma for making the wrong decision. This person for two two of wands reverse, for some of you, this person, they had two paths to decide. They could have stayed with where they was at or they could have came with you and went off in this new direction. They chose to stay where they was at. So now this person's under judgment for that because they made the wrong decision. Judgment reverse, they knew better. They knew that when they, you you and them were together, they knew that you were the perfect person. They knew that because of how they felt. They felt a lot better. You were healing this person. This person was coming out of depression. They were getting their stability back. This person knew that you were a blessing. When they, when they were with you, they realized that shit was different or shit was getting better. They knew that. And so when it got to the point where it was time for them to make a decision, they chose not to make it. Now their judgment reversed. They made the wrong choice. This person, the judgment would have been upright had they decided to come with you on this new journey. Had they made the judgment call to be with you and leave this situation behind when they were called to do so, they wouldn't be in the predicament that they're in, but they didn't choose that. So now judgment is in reverse. They're getting karma and it's all kind of hell and drama going on with this previous relationship. They could have been involved with a water sign uh, with the Ten of Cups reverse. But this is like an unhappy marriage, an unhappy relationship. They can have children together and shit. It's just like they chose the wrong relationship. They chose a relationship where they were getting completely the fuck drained with a water sign, a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or a Gemini. Mm-mm. Of judgment reverse of the ten of cups reverse. I just feel like collectively you doing your thing. Like the ten of pentacles is out here, but so is the nine of cups. So some of you, you're still single right now. You're single and you're making yourself happy. You're content with you. And when that six of cups out here, I mean, six of cups can indicate like friendships too. Like maybe you're like you and your best friend are making memories together and shit. And it's just like, you're just living your best fucking life with or without a relationship. It don't matter to you. You are still the legacy belongs to you. You are the chosen one. So... You don't have to be in a relationship to get the divine inheritance. You already have it. You can be single. You're still going to have it. In a relationship, you're still going to have it because you've proved yourself to the most high. You've proved yourself to spirit that you're going to choose your integrity. You're going to choose the right. You're going to do things right every time. No matter what it looks like on the other end to you, you know what the fuck is going on. You trust your faith. You trust the most high. You trust spirit. So you make the right decisions every time. You've proven yourself to be able to do this even in the worst of the circumstances. Because for a lot of you, you got done dirty by this motherfucker. So it's just like the fact that you still chose the high road. You still chose to take the higher route instead of getting revenge on this person and shit that's why god is favoring you god put you in a position to make a choice just like god put this person in a position to make a choice god said okay collective this person did this to you but what you gonna do you gonna trust me or you gonna take matters into your own hands and you gonna go get revenge or whatever the fuck on this person 
choice is yours and you decided god i'm gonna rock with you i'm gonna let you handle that trust me it's being handled it has been handled okay ooh we period like sun car reverse is a judgment reverse mm -mm. Yeah, look at you. As soon as I talk about how y'all single and living y'all best life, the nine of pentacles come out. Nine of pentacles, nine of cups. A lot of y'all are doing the damn thing. You're financially secure. You're happy. That's what I was talking about in the beginning of the readings when I was talking about the concerts and all this and shit that's coming. A lot of y'all are making plans. Y'all are making trips. Y'all planning for events, shit that y'all want to go to. Like, y'all, this is finna get ready to be one epic ass summer for y'all. Like, real shit. Nine of Pentacles, you're single, you're happy, you're by yourself. Some of you can have a little friend or something that you're talking to, but it's nothing serious right now. But with the Nine of Pentacles, you're looking good, feeling good. Some of you are getting back in the gym, you're eating right, you're drinking more water, doing whatever it is. Some of you have started a new uh, exercise or workout resume, or you joined a new class. Some of you are doing something that's making you happy and that's beneficial to you. It could be a yoga class, it could be a pole dancing class, just getting back in the gym, whatever the fuck it is. I feel like you're doing something that's going to be beneficial to you. You got the Ten of Pentacles out here with the Nine of Cups, the Tempers, and the Nine of Pentacles. I'm talking about money is not even a fucking issue, like, period. But yeah, Nine of Pentacles, or it won't be in the near future. Like, by the time October rolls around of, of this year... You are going to be good, okay, period. Like, nine of pentacles, like, just happy, healthy, and single. Like, you know what I'm saying? And nine of pentacles is self-made. If you're an entrepreneur, your business is doing well. You know what I'm saying? This is somebody who doesn't mind hard work. They know how to put in the blood, sweat, and tears to get where they want to be. That's why you're sitting in the nine of pentacles now. You've done the heavy work. You've done the hard lifting and shit. You know what I'm saying? These other people haven't. You know, these people think shit just look easy for you, but they don't know what you had to do to get here. It's been plenty of times that you wanted to, you know, go get a motherfucker for how they treated you or do some grimy shit like motherfuckers out here feel so like it's so easy to do. You know what I'm saying? But it's karma that comes attached with that shit. You can't just treat people any type of way and then out of because your feelings hurt or whatever the case may be, like that's a weak person's mo like somebody hurt your feelings okay cool but you don't gotta go behind the scenes doing all this wicked and malicious ass shit just because you feel some type of way that's not the that's not the god-like way to handle shit and that's usually what people choose though so it's just like when that shit backfire on them then they be looking stupid you know what i'm saying it's just like people just don't get it that's why they under judgment now whoever this person is they make terrible decisions you know, they don't use their discernment. They don't listen to their intuition. A lot of you, this person is depressed with the sun card reversed. Like they're suffering from depression and they don't even know it. You know what I'm saying? This person could be very codependent. They stayed in this relationship because they were too scared to be single. You know what I'm saying? But you weren't collective. It's just like the moment you've seen this shit falling apart, it's like, okay, what are we going to do here? Because if this is not going to work out or you're not going to keep trying or, you know what I'm saying? If this shit is going, you know what I'm saying? It's just like, I'd rather be by myself. I'd rather be single than happy being in a relationship and miserable. Like, real shit. Lots of nine of cups here. And now this person is looking at you because you've moved the fuck on. Like, you know what I'm saying? You've released this person in this situation and let them do what they was going to do. You accepted the fact that this person didn't choose you. Like, okay, cool. That's where you want to be at. Cool. Now you thrive and you're doing your own thing. Ten of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, Nine of Cups, Temperance. You're doing your own thing and you're blessed and people can see it. They know it. Yeah, look at that. Seven of Cups is in reverse. No more illusions. No more smoke and mirrors. People are seeing clearly. Seven of Cups reverse with the Ace of Swords. People know who the fuck you are, period. They know who's a really good, genuine person. And they know who fucked up. Who's the snake. Who's the one who tried to fuck some shit up and do some wicked shit. They know. Seven of Cups reverse. Now somebody wants to choose you. They don't want no more options. Or if they did have options, they feel like you're the best one. So now they got their sights set on you with the Seven of Cups reverse. Yeah, 
emperor. Now they want to be your man. They want to be your emperor, your husband. They want to step up for you. They want to be the best person that they could be for you. Emperor energy. And for some of you, it could be in Aries, like I said. I was the emperor here. Yeah, but look at that. Behind it is the King of Pentacles. But it's like this person, they're like really bad with money or they do something like weird under the table to make money or they're a gold digger. They only want to be your man now because they see you sitting in the Nine of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles energy. They know you got money. So it's just like, oh, let me go be with Collective then. King of Pentacles reverse. No. Yeah, look at that. Knight of Cups reverse. This person thinks they're going to come in and love bomb you and shit. This person is going to tell you a bunch of nothing. They're going to try to whisper in your ear, tell you all the romantic shit, but there's no action behind it with the Knight of Cups reverse. The shit isn't genuine. This, this motherfucker just talking. Like, yeah, I'm going to do this. We're going to do that. We could be this. We could be that. We're going to get married. All right. This person is full of shit, okay? They want to be the emperor when really behind the scenes, they're the king of pentacles reverse and the knight of cups reverse. For some of you, this person can even be like bisexual and shit. Because the two of wands reverse can indicate that too. This is somebody who's not living in their truth when it comes to their sexuality and shit. That's not going to be for everybody, but that is for some with the two of wands reverse. Or like I said, you could be dealing, this could be a lesbian or a gay couple, you know what I'm saying? It's just one of you are in masculine energy, the other is in feminine energy. Whoever the masculine energy is, this person is just like a gaslighter. It's like they feed you all these dreams and all this romantic shit, but they don't have no intention on following through on this shit. So like I said, for some of you, you can actually have two options though. Because like I said, you're destined for generational wealth, generational greatness, like nine of cups, nine of pentacles, ten of pentacles. You do have a real emperor out here that's looking at you, though, with the emperor upright. But you got this king of pentacles reverse that's going to be trying to love bomb you to get back in your life and shit. But I feel like for a lot of you collective, you're over this person from the past. So you're definitely going to choose the newer person, whoever this emperor is. Mm-hmm. Because it's like temperance. You're at peace with this past person whatever they did to you however they went about it all that type of shit you're at peace with it. you healed from it with the temperance so when this new emperor comes in and this old person makes their attempt to try to get back at you it's gonna be like not even a question you know what i'm saying because you're not in your feelings about the situation anyway so it's like you're not you know it's like you're not gonna let your emotions cloud your logic when it comes to this decision. Like, it's nothing to even think about. It just makes sense. I'm like, you chose somebody else over me. You ruined our relationship. And now you want to come towards me when I got this great ass person that ain't never did shit to me and really wants to take me serious. Like, go figure. Like, duh. Like, it's going to be so obvious the choice you should make. So it's almost like, like, this is not even a question. Like, what are you saying? Like, bye. Get the fuck out of here. Like, y'all feel like y'all gonna reject this person. You might find it funny. You gotta be like, no, you're not in here trying to love bomb me and shit after everything you did. You're right, bitch. Get out of here. Well, I said not a cup to reverse. Yeah, so some of you, you have options, okay? Some of you may be dating. I feel like you got a real emperor that's getting ready to come in. And this old person is going to try their look too. Even though they don't got any. With the five of cups reverse. Let's see. Why is the five of cups reverse here? Hold on. There's too many cards. Fine. Yeah, not a source. Like, you're not heartbroken. You're not sad. You don't have no regrets about this past person or this past situation. Yeah, for some of you, this person ghosted you. They just quit talking to you out of nowhere. And because you are completely over them, now they want to rush in with all this communication, all this love bombing and all this shit because they're struggling financially and they're all out of options. Like, no. You know, because those games that this person was trying to play is played the fuck out. You're like this person's only hope. 
You know what I'm saying? Because if it was up to this person, they still wouldn't be saying anything to your ass. It's because they're in this desperate ass position in life and they don't have nobody else to call on because they didn't probably fucked over other friends, other lovers and all this type of shit. So now they want to rush in towards you thinking that you're dumb enough to help them again. And that's not the case. Like, yeah, I'm nice enough to help your ass. But when you take my kindness for weakness and you think I'm stupid and you did all this wicked ass shit to me for no fucking reason, like, bitch, I'm not helping you. Like, are you dumb? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you're actually the dumb one to think that you gonna come over here with this Nine of Cups reverse bullshit, Knight of Cups reverse bullshit, and think you gonna love bomb and gaslight me and I'm gonna be all in my feelings and shit. I don't give a fuck about none of that. Like, this person is dumb. They're showing up in this night energy. Like, they are not on your level. You're not even showing up as, like, you're not even showing up in the minor arcana. You're showing up in the major. You're the temperance. And you're coming towards me with the Knight of Swords with the the Knight of Cups reversed. Like, you gonna be looking at this person like, what? You know what I'm saying? And this is why, like, judge and reverse. This is why this person makes terrible decisions. They're impulsive with the Knight of Swords. This person doesn't think. You know, they, they move too quick when they make decisions, which is why they always make the wrong one. It's just like, slow down. You know what I'm saying? What are you rushing for? You know what I'm saying? But I feel like this person always misses out on opportunities and shit because they're not genuine. You know what I'm saying? They be having bad intentions for other people. King of Pentacles Reverse is always about money. It's always how they can come up, how what they can get and all this type of shit. That's why this person never gets ahead because you don't get ahead when you move like this. You block your blessings when you do shit like this. That's why they fucked up with you too, correct? <laughs> Why is the temperance here? Yeah, look at that. Two of Cups reverse. Clarifying the temperance. I told you, you've healed from this breakup. Like, you're good. Like, I'm cool. Like, bro, I'm unbothered. Like, it didn't work out. It wasn't meant to be. We actually weren't that compatible to a cuss reverse. It's cool. You know what I'm saying? This person, oh my God, that is going to drive them up the wall. They're going to be like, what do you mean? Like, how are you not sad and fucked up behind this like I am? And you're just like, what? <laughs> oh my God, man. This person is slow. Okay. I was a two cuss reverse. It's just like you straight chilling with the temperance and this person is going to be so, they're like, oh my God, it just ruffles their feathers that you're not affected by this two of cups reverse. You don't care. Like, okay, like what you want me to do? Like, <laughs> It's like you're happy with whatever is going on in your life. For some of you, this emperor energy is going to come in and you're going to be dating and talking to this new person. Like, completely minding your fucking business, nine of cups, being happy, getting wish fulfillment, like, doing your own thing. And then in comes this person from the past with all this, like, weird-ass, manipulative-ass energy. And it's just, like, you're just already, like, past this. Like, this shit with this person from your past is, like, not even a part of your life anymore. Like, this is some shit that you don't even think about. And for some of you, like I said, either this emperor energy just came in or they're getting ready to. Like real shit. By the time this person comes in with all these quick messages and this love bombing ass shit, it's like you're going to be in a total, you already are in a different space. But you're going to be even more in a different space when this emperor comes in, you know, taking care of you, providing for you, doing what a real man does. You're going to be like. Mm, no you can go like don't come over here with that so it comes to me right yeah look at that nine of wands it's, i told you nine of wands it's gonna piss them off this person is projecting their anger on you. They want you to be mad because they're mad about this two of cups. Like, no, you're mad about that two of cups reverse because you fucked up when we were together. Not me. Like, I'm at peace, temperance. I don't have no regrets. Five of cups reverse. I don't have no regrets about our breakup because I'm not the one that ruined it. You did. 
So why would I be mad? Like it just is what it is. This person is gonna be so mad. Nine of Wands. <laughs> They don't like the fact that you're so at peace about this shit being over. It's just like, how are you so cool with this? Like, what the fuck? It's like, because you weren't doing anything for my life. You weren't upgrading me. You weren't helping me doing shit. You weren't contributing to the to nothing. Like, what the fuck? It's like, this person wants you to be sad about something that was beneficial that wasn't beneficial in your life anyway outside of teaching you the lessons that you needed to learn to know your worth. This person didn't do anything else for you. They couldn't provide for you like you needed financially. They weren't helping you with anything. This person, only thing they helped you with is learning your lessons. This person was a, a burden. They stressed you the fuck out. They got on your damn nerves. Like, why would I miss this? You know what I'm saying? Like, no. And with the nine of wands out here, this person is still fighting their own battles. Like they've been battered and bruised because they chose to stay in their relationship and their lovers reversed with that person that wasn't really truly the the person for them. They chose to stay there. Nine of wands, they got battered and bruised and all this type of shit. And now they want you to feel some type of way or something. Like, no. Nine of wands, you don't care. Like the fuck? Those are your problems because that's the decision that you made. Like, shit ain't got nothing to do with the collective. Yeah, look at that. It's over. World card. <laughs> like, you're in a whole new beginning, a whole new chapter, a whole new phase of your life. And it's still, this person wants you to be mad about some shit from the old cycle. No. <laughs> World card, you've leveled up in major ways. I'm talking about energetic upgrades life just period some of you didn't graduated from school college some of you have you have better jobs like you just don't have a job a lot of you have like careers you have investments you have like it's you've oof, you're just on a whole new level from this person like this it's not even a good match yeah the knight of swords with a temperance no this cycle in this chapter of your life is done Watch the world for it here. Yeah, look at you. Queen of Pentacles. I told you. Look at this shit. Queen of Pentacles. And this person is so your ex is showing up as the King of Pentacles reverse. See, they lost it. I feel like when this person was with you, maybe they did have some sort of stability or they had a decent job. Now, this person doesn't have this shit no more. They don't have it like they had it when y'all were together. And even then, like I said, you probably wasn't even like like you are now. You know what I'm saying? Like you have more money now than you did when you dated this person, even though you probably still were the Queen of Pentacles. But you have even more. You are just blessed, okay? period and like this person is struggling in their life they're in the reverse now they've had to resort to some under the table type shit just to make ends meet and they fucked up out here queen of pentacles now this person wants to come in and then Another thing, the King of Pentacles upright is known for being loyal. And when it's in the reverse, this person is not loyal to anything. This person is going to move where the money go. So that means that they could be with you. But if another bitch coming on, come along they feel like she, and he feel like she got a bigger bag, he going to fuck with her. Because he's a gold digger. So it's just like this person is not even loyal on top of that. They're loyal. They're a liar. They're a love bomber, a gaslighter, a ghoster with this knight of swords. This person's running in and out of your life. They rude, mean, like, you know what I'm saying? Knight of swords is somebody who feels like they don't owe you an explanation about shit. It's just like, the fuck, like, no. This is too much of a reckless ass energy, an immature ass energy. Yeah, look at you, the high priestess. Yeah, you know that. Some of you could be making money off your business, off of your um, tarot channel and shit. People are starting to book readings with you and stuff. If if you read cards. But if you don't, this is just a high priestess. Like, you know everything that's been going on with this person because spirit has been giving you messages, downloads, dreams, visions and shit. You know everything that's been going on with this person or what happened with this person. And you just don't speak on it because... It ain't your business. It's not for you to be speaking on. Who cares? You know what I'm saying? But you know, with the high priestess, you already know. You know what happened. You know why this person's coming in. You know what the fuck is going on. You're not stupid. Like, high priestess, 
and you're just focused on your money queen of pentacles you're focused on your stability your your i'm hearing your wellness so just your overall being you like your health your body your money your stability is like you're just focused on the shit that's important to you shit that means something you know what i'm saying this person doesn't mean anything to you anymore so it is what it is high priestess Ooh. You're keeping shit to yourself. You're not telling people what's going on in your life or what's going on with you. It's like none of your fucking business. I'm going to have pieces here. You have four cups and you're going to reject this person. Four cups. I'm not interested in your cup. Okay. No. Four cups. Yeah, you know this person is a loser. Six of Wands reverse. They just want some. They want some attention. They're a clout chaser. I told you somebody. I don't know if I said that, but somebody on the bottom of the deck was that downcast pride card that we got a few days ago. So it's like this is somebody who fake flexes and shit. Somebody they're materialistic. King of Pentacles, Six of Wands reverse with the downcast pride on the bottom of the deck. This is somebody who want to have all the name brands, all the newest shit. They want to wear this. They want to have that. But really behind the scenes, they're fucked up financially. So this is this is somebody who's a loser because it's just like you can't even be yourself. Like you feel like you got to put on to impress people. People that don't even like your ass for real or don't do anything for you or your life. It's like, why are you always trying to impress people with, you know, with shit that's not even real? You know how you can impress people? You know how you can be impressive? Be your fucking self. You, you shouldn't have shit to prove to nobody. Who gives a fuck? You know what I'm saying? Like, this person cares too much about what other people think of them. And then it's not the real them at that. It's just like, the fuck is wrong with you? Like, yeah, something is off about this person. But Six of Swords, you guys, this person know they lost. They're a loser and they're mad about it. Nine of Wands with the um, Six of Wands reverse. This person is jealous. And not just not just of you. This person is also jealous of their friends and shit. People that they hang around with the Six of Wands reverse because they like to follow the crowd. This is like people... This is like this is a clout chaser. This is somebody who wants to keep up with the Joneses. They want to be involved with the popular people and all that type of shit. But it's just like they be jealous of them too at the same time because you want to hang out with people who are actually doing better than you and then you get offended. What? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know you're not on those people level, but you want to follow the crowd and pretend like you're a part of that shit, but you know you're struggling. Then when you get over there with they ass, you feel some type of way. Like, what the fuck? This is somebody who's an attention whore, an attention seeker. They got a bad reputation and shit. Motherfuckers are figuring out the, the who the fuck this person is. They know what's up with this motherfucker, like, for real. That's why people are giving this person a side eye. They not wanting to hang out with them for real. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's like people are starting to shy away from this person because they be on some lame shit. Like, real shit. Why is the six of wands reverse? Their life is boring and mundane. Four of cups. They could be dating multiple people. They could have at least three other cups. But they don't like none of them. They want yours back. The cup that you gave them, they that's the one they want. But like, no, that, that cup is not even on the table no more. You out your league, buddy. Why is the six of ones reverse? Yeah, this person don't realize that since they've been gone, the price then went up energetically, spiritually, emotionally. You think you ain't have what it takes to contribute then? You damn sure don't have what it takes to contribute now to be in a healthy relationship with a temperance. Hell no. Nah. Like, you are a healer. High priestess in the temperance. Some of you could be, like, social workers or case workers. Or you're a healer. You're, like, a real-life professional. You really help people. Problem-solve shit in other people's lives. You don't have time for this person and they, this bullshit. Like, what the fuck? Temperance in the high priestess. You are a very spiritual being. Very tapped in. You know what I'm saying? Like, this person probably wouldn't even be able to be around your energy. Like, real shit. Like, this... Ugh. Like... Mm -mm. you will start to agitate this person like real shit but not on purpose it's just who you are world car high priestess temperance like uh, -uh. like you are in alignment your life is being upgraded as we speak and this person is trying to like they're mad at you because you don't give a fuck about some shit that was in the old cycle like my nigga you should have graduated and elevated from this shit already what are you talking about 
This is like you're you're like getting ready to go get your doctorate degree, and this person's still mad at, and mad at you about some shit that happened in middle school. That shit don't even matter. Like, what are you talking about? I feel like that's how you're gonna be looking at this person. Like, what? Huh? What are you talking about? Six of Wands. This person is hung up on the past. You know what I'm saying? They haven't done their healing. Yeah, look at that. King of Swords reversed. For some of you, this could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This person is a liar. Okay? A big ass liar, bro. And they're bitter. They're bitter. How you this person is mad at you collective because they chose a different path. How you going this person has unhealed trauma. They haven't dealt with their past issues. They haven't forgiven themselves for decisions that they made. They this person does, hasn't taken accountability for where their life is at. Your life is like this because of the decisions that you made. This is somebody that don't want to take accountability. So then they just walk around being mad and projecting on other people. That's your fault. It's nobody else's fault but yours because you won't change because you always lying because you're cold and you're heartless and you're bitter and shit. That's you, my nigga. Like, there's nobody else but your ass. Can't be mad at everybody else because your shit fucked up because you won't get your shit together. Like, that's you. Why is the sun card reverse? Cherry, you moved on. Okay, collective, you got all majors out here. You you got in control. You got in the driver's seat of your life. And you like, okay, well, this ain't gonna turn out how I want it to go. I'll go in a different direction where shit will go how I need it to go. Like, Cherry, you've moved the fuck on. You'd be a cancer, but a lot of you, like, you've moved to a different city. But if it's not a different city, you actually move. You just moved on. Some of you got new cars and shit. Like, You've just been like upgrading your life in every aspect. Like the most high just been blessing you and you just been focused on the shit that is fucking important. And it's not this person anymore. This person is not the focal point of your life. Or a lot of you don't even think about this person at all. A lot of you moved on quickly, too, or people think that you have. You know what I'm saying? Because like I said, for a lot of you, you didn't go on no type of major rant when you broke up with this person. You may be like, oh, my God, motherfuckers ain't shit. Like, you ain't do all the extra shit. You just quietly moved the fuck on. You did your healing. You worked on you. You know, you tapped in with the most high and you, you worked on yourself. You know what I'm saying? You healed yourself. Now, chariot, people are seeing you pop back outside. You're going to be doing the damn thing, especially this summer. They're going to see you pop the fuck out. And people are going to be like, well, damn, she moved on hella fast. No, you just moved on in silence because heart, when you going through heartbreaking shit, that ain't for the public to see. Now, if you happen to have to go through it through the public eye, that's a different story. But if you can help it and it doesn't have to be the, in the public eye or you, you have a choice whether you put it on social media, show some media and shit, privacy is key. Keep that shit to yourself. Heal in private. That's none of people's business. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't get me wrong. You may end up sharing your story eventually with people that you may meet or people that you come across or people that you feel like is worthy of hearing your story. And that's different. But like... This type of shit, like when you go through major breakups and major losses and shit, that's not for the world to see. You know what I'm saying? So, Cherry, you've done your healing. You moved on. You're okay. But it's like the fact that you're popping outside, and I'm talking about you popping outside even fucking better. Some people even gonna be like, "How the fuck is you affording all of this shit? Like, you got this car, like high price. Like, what do you this fight? A lot of people want to know what you do for a living, or they gonna be like." How the fuck is you doing all of this? Or you know what I'm saying? It's like most of us gonna be like, what the fuck? So shit. Oh shit. That was a cherry here. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. Be careful of motherfuckers. And they start seeing you doing shit and shining and doing certain shit. And motherfuckers start, well, how I, I wonder how she make her money. What's she doing? Then sneaky motherfuckers try to get close to you and shit. Don't tell nobody your business. But you already know that. Queen of Pentacles, the high priestess, you gonna keep to yourself how you make your money. It ain't none of your fucking business, bitch. Mind yours. Oh, you just heard the horn? <laughs> and then I feel like it's getting ready. Something significant about daylight savings time. Because I think it's getting ready to come back. I don't know when daylight savings is getting ready to hit again. 
but I feel like it's coming up soon. So we're getting ready to lose an hour, if I'm not mistaken, which means that time is going to be going by fast and it's going to start getting uh, darker later. But that's what I like. I like when we lose an hour when time be going by fast because it seems like you be at work for a short period of time. You know what I'm saying? Like, it seems like that eight hours go by so fast. Yeah, look at that. Knight of Wands. You got somebody chasing you. Why is this Knight of Wands here? And I'm telling you, y'all gonna have this emperor coming to y'all energy too. You ain't gonna tell nobody about that either. Nobody's gonna know who this new man is that you're dating. It's a mystery. People want to know who you're dating, what's going on in your love life, and you're not telling them. They want to know what's going on in your love life, and they want to know how you make your money. And none of that shit is their fucking business, period. Mind yours. They just going to see you pop outside, living your best life, looking good. Because like I said, a lot of y'all been taking care of y'all body. Nine of Pentacles with the Queen of Pentacles. You got the Ten of Pentacles out here twice. The Nine of Pentacles with the Queen of Pentacles is just the Ten of Pentacles by yourself. And I feel like this man that's going to come in, he may be a little bit old, older. No, I don't feel like he's a whole bunch more older, but he's definitely seasoned with the Emperor card. You know what I'm saying? He ain't got to do too much. He know, you know, he hold weight. He know he hold weight, so it don't even matter. But anyway, you're going to have this new, older man, mature man coming in and shit, and y'all already doing y'all own thing. I'm telling you, like... Some of y'all have been hitting the gym, eating right and shit, nine of pentacles, queen of pentacles. And I feel like you're going to quickly see results. I'm talking about in like a month's time, like a month's time. Whatever you're doing, keep doing it because you're going to see results. Okay, period. So you're going to be looking good, feeling good, drinking plenty of water. It's like you are the empress. You have the green thumb right now, collective. So it's like whatever you touch, it turns to gold, whether you working out whatever that you're doing it's man i'm telling you keep it up i just I, consistency is key whatever you have started recently collective don't stop okay whatever you started lately because i feel like some of y'all started something new i don't know what this is it's a new workout regimen it's a new skincare routine it's something that you recently started and it's going to pay off in the end i just feel like it's something Whatever this is that you didn't start it, it's almost like you have to be patient to see the results. But I feel like the results are going to come quicker than you think. So be consistent. Do not stop. Do not give up. Don't give in. Don't take a break. Don't don't doubt yourself. Whatever this is, is going to be successful. There's no reason to doubt it. The, the universe fully supports you on whatever this is. Archangel Michael is out here. The angels are assisting you with whatever this is. So you're, yeah, I, it feels like a personal goal though. I feel like it's something with your body or your health or your weight. Some of you can even be trying to gain weight. I feel like it's going to pay off. Like, do not, like, look, I'm dead ass. Keep going. Okay. And I knew every time I get on this camera, I always start talking about shit that I be thinking is just my own shit. And then it ended up coming out in the reading because, like, in the beginning, I was talking about health and wellness and getting your body right. Y'all are going to be doing something or you're already doing something. And I'm talking about it. Ooh, you're going to be having motherfuckers like, bitch, nine of pentacles, queen of pentacles, high priestess in the temperance. You are like, people are going to be like, you are a gift from the fucking sky. You, you are like not of this world how are you this successful this stable this abundant this fine like it's, it's like people like it's not often that you meet somebody that checks off every fucking thing because people aren't perfect but when you meet somebody that checks off every box box on your particular list that shit just don't happen that often okay so this is almost like Damn, like you gonna take somebody's every fucking box. I'm talking, they gonna be like, you fine, you got a nice body, you mysterious, you don't talk too much, you don't tell all your business, you know how to keep secrets, you loyal, queen of pentacles, you solid, you know how to get money, you, you stable, like you just do the, ooh, you're a healer, you're very calm, nature, sensitive, understanding. Like somebody's gonna be like, you are just the most perfect. Oh, you are just the most perfect person like somebody really think you're that somebody's gonna think you are such a fucking like just angelic and pure like real shit i said not once here yeah look at this person from your past four wands reverse like i said for some of you this person may not have nowhere to go wherever they were staying in if they were married with somebody else or in a living situation with somebody else they could have got kicked out so now this person's on the move they trying to find somewhere to go 
and shit. Four wands reverse. They could have got kicked out or put out. You know, because the four of wands reverse could be an eviction too. If they didn't get kicked out from where they were living at with somebody, all of their ass could have got kicked out in general. Why's the four of wands reverse? There's something going on with this person's stability. Yeah, look at that. Two of Pentacles reverse. Yeah, they they didn't they didn't tap out all of their resources. They didn't burn a lot of bridges with motherfuckers with the two of pentacles reverse. So it ain't really nobody else that they can go ask for money or ask for help. They didn't sabotage all the real solid relationships and friendships they didn't have with people. So this person ain't got nobody to ask for money. Two of Pentacles reverses. I mean, Two of Pentacles upright is when you're, you know, trying to juggle, trying to maintain, you know, moving money around. You may have to use your credit card for this and pay a bill for that and wait till you get paid. Like, that's the Two of Pentacles upright. You're trying to maintain and keep your balance financially and shit. When it's in the reverse, you've lost your balance. You know, it's, it's, it's debt. Debt is starting to pile up. You don't have enough money to pay for shit. It's starting to become it's starting to become a burden. For some of you, like I said, this person, the Two of Pentacles upright, can also talk about borrowing money from someone. Robbing Peter to pay Paul type shit. You know, telling somebody, look, give me $100 so I can go do this. I got you next week when I get paid. This person has been doing that to people, not giving them their money back, not saying anything. People got to hunt them down for their money and shit. It's just like this person has created bad blood with motherfuckers. So now they can't even get no help. Like real shit. Why is the Two of Pentacles uh, reverse here? four swords reverse and this person can't sleep their mental health is out of whack you know they can't sleep they're not getting enough rest this person could suffer from insomnia they stay up all the time so this person have like bags under their eyes and shit that's a four swords here Yeah, look at that hermit. I told you for a lot. This person doesn't do any self-reflection. Some of you just could be a Virgo. This person doesn't do any self-reflection. They don't go within. This person's always looking outside of themselves for validation and shit. And this is also somebody like they they've been shunned in their family and their community. People don't want to be bothered with this person. It's like as soon as they see this person coming or they hear this person's name, because like I said, with the six of wands reverse, they ruin their reputation. You know, people don't look at this person the same. They didn't create a track record, a history of doing the same shit with different people. And now people are like, also oh, this motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? It's like they've made a name for themselves and not a good one. You know what I'm saying? So now it's like people don't want this person around. You know, they got two cards out here of depression. Sun card reverse and a hermit reverse. Somebody out here is depressed. Like real shit. They're not happy with their life. Yeah, look at that. Ace of Wands reverse. People are not interested in this dick no more or whatever they were doing sexually. People don't even want that anymore. It's just like, ew, just get on. Yeah, because I'm not, this person does the same thing with everybody. It's just like nothing is, ooh, it's like this person is, mm -hmm. that's an Ace of Wands reverse. You're, you're definitely not interested in this person. Your fire has been put out. You're not sexually attracted to this person. You don't want to sleep with them, nothing. Yeah, Three of Pentacles. Yeah, 10 of wands. Yeah, a lot of you are working on something else, working with somebody else. Like I said, some of you can have a new job and you're in training and shit. Some of you are focused on something completely else with the three of pentacles that could have been involving your career or involving money or involving learning or teaching or something. You can be in some type of class or training. Like You're not worried about this person at all. Look at the 10 of wands reverse. You dropped this burden. You released this. It's not your problem. Like whatever this person going through is not your issue. You got other shit going on that requires your time and attention. Like you don't have time for this shit. Watch the uh lovers reverse. Yeah, three of swords. Damn it. <sighs> okay. Well, I 
the three of swords reverse. Yeah, for some of you, this could have been a third party, like lovers reverse with, because the lovers reverse can talk about cheating too. That's, the lovers card is six. And when it's in the reverse, it can talk about cheating in a relationship and shit with the three of swords reverse. So yeah, this person, either they were in a relationship with that past person or the person that they chose over you, they got cheated on and shit. Three of swords reverse, or this person cheated on you and y'all were together and you're just over it. They tried to put you in a third party or they had a third party with the three of swords reverse. Like I said, you've healed from this third party shit. Like, you don't care, bro. It's like, okay, fine, go do you. And now this person feels betrayed, ten of swords. Now this person feels backdoor, betrayed, backstabbed, like everybody, like their life is ruined and shit. Why is the ten of swords here? Again, this person doesn't like to take accountability. Yeah, three of wands reverse. Their life is delayed. You know what I'm saying? They lack of progress. They're not where they want to be in life because they spend too much time playing games and making the wrong decisions and shit. Now come karma has come back around and this person just feels like a loser. Literally, this person feels like a loser. They've been trying to keep up this this uh illusion that they got it all together, like they're doing well, like they're good. But look at this shit. The hierophant, the most high God came down here and said, uh-uh. The, the enough of this. Enough of this. Mm -mm. Yeah, I'm telling you, y'all got a new person coming in. The high priestess is upright and the hierophant is upright. Y'all are going to meet somebody who is just as disciplined as you, somebody who's just as wise, somebody who's just as experienced, somebody who's learned a lot of lessons just like you. This person's going to make up. I'm talking about the high priestess, the high priestess and the hierophant is a, a is a um, slept on couple. It's like the high priestess and the uh, hierophant like to work in tandem together. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people, whoever this hierophant is, a lot of people come to this person for advice and shit. It's like you got the knowledge, though. I feel like you and this person going to have a lot of conversations about philosophy and um, books and intellectual shit. It's just like both of these people are extremely smart. You know what I'm saying? It's just like you are going to be able to tap in. You have the secrets, the knowledge, the Kashic records that the Most High gives to you. You're going to be able to drop knowledge on this person. You know what I'm saying? Because this person may be like a bit structured. You know what I'm saying? They've been following some type of like, um, I don't know what their religious preference is, but they definitely have standards. They have integrity. They have morals. They live by something. You know what I'm saying? Because they've learned a lot of spiritual lessons to be in the high refined energy. They are spiritually high ranking too. Don't get me wrong. But it's just like you both are more, you're on like different ends of the spectrum. I feel like you're more spiritual than this person. And this person may be more like literal. Um, but I feel like it's the Hierophant and the High Priestess is an excellent combination. I feel like this person is going to have your side, your back, your front. And you're going to have the same for this person. And it's just, it's going to work. Period. It's like you meet somebody that's on your level, but in a different way. I feel like you both are going to be able to change each other's perspectives on shit. You know what I'm saying? You're going to be teaching each other, each other shit. I was horrified here. Yeah, seven of pentacles. Look, this person is going to want to invest in you. Plant seeds. They're going to feel like you're a good investment. Mm -hmm. Seven of pentacles. They're going to invest in you. Wow, this is a dope ass reading. I like this. How's the seven of pentacles? Mm -hmm. Yeah, ten, uh, tower reverse. Some of y'all dodged a bully with a Scorpio. Well, this person can have Scorpio in a chart. Yeah, the devil reverse. Look at this person. He's just like fucking like, ugh. I'm talking about this person couldn't overcome their addictions and shit or their trauma and shit. This person got their heels dug in deep to this toxic shit. It's just like, this is just who they are. This is a, just like you're a walking angel. This person is a walking demon. They chose their side. And now they're over there and they're not happy. Or, you know, they made a deal with the devil. Now they're ha they happen to pay up in more ways than one. And this person is like they hate their life. 
type shit. Five of Devil Reverse. Some of you could be a Capricorn or a Scorpio. Yeah, Page of Cups Reverse. This person is extremely emotionally immature, jealous, possessive, childish, just immature as fuck. Yeah, and you're the Queen of Cups. I told you, you are genuine, pure hearted, sincere, loving, nurturing, caring, understanding. Like, your emotions are intact. You're emotionally stable. Like, you're a good person. Queen of Cups, High Priestess, Temperance, you're a healer and a psychic. You're extremely intuitive. Like, the fuck, you know, be knowing exactly what the fuck is going on with people without even having to lift your fucking head up. You don't even have to look at a motherfucker. You can hear it in a voice type shit. Also, Queen of Cups here, you're very tapped into your emotions, emotionally stable. You're a healer. You help heal others. Real shit. Yeah, look at that. Eight of Wands. Ooh, so I told you some shit getting ready to take off for you collectively. Like, a lot of you are getting ready to be busy with the Eight of Wands. Like, your love life is getting ready to kick off if it hasn't already. Work is good. You know, clients, business, you're in high demand, okay? Even if you're single and you're just dating, that's getting ready to pick up. It's like the weather is getting ready to get nicer again. People see you. It's just like, man, it's like people want a chance, okay? They want a chance with this high priestess, queen of cups. Yeah, but some, some of you going to be ignoring these people. That was a two of wands. Yeah, or you're going to ignore this person. Yeah, because you realize it's a missed opportunity. It's over. Like, some of you are just not even going to respond to this person. Like, we're not, we're not doing that again. We're not doing this cycle again. We're not doing all that. Yeah, look at that. Five of Wands. You got haters, jealous motherfuckers on the bottom of the deck. Well, because you're free. Look at that. Look at this shit. Five of Wands with the food card. You're free. Death card. Shit has changed. Shit has ended with this King of Wands reverse. The cycle is over. It's complete. It's dead. Once the death card comes in, there's no changing that. The shit is over with. You walked away because you refused to settle. And now the universe is supporting you in every area of your life because you did what's best for them and you trusted God. You trusted God before you trusted man. And now you're blessed. And now people are mad. Mm -mm. Pulling on the temperance. Yeah, somebody's all up in their head over you having anxiety and shit with the Eight of Swords. They're in spiritual jail. Yeah, Page of Pentacles because somebody could have been trying to do spell work on you, getting readings on you and shit, trying to tap into your energy. If they're doing that too, that's not working. Yeah, look at that. Four pentacles. People trying to hold on to your energy and shit. Yeah, trying to be calculated, sneaky, trying to find a way to get back into your life. These people do not want to let you go. There is somebody out here that's like holding on to you. Four pentacles, seven of swords. They're trying to find a way to sneak back into your life. And because you're the queen of wands, but you're protected. You know what I'm saying? Your ancestors, the spirit is all around you. Archangel Michael is out here. This person, whatever this seven of swords is, it's not going to fucking work. You're the high priestess, the temperance, the queen of cups, and the queen of wands. You're fine as fuck. You're mysterious. You're smart as fuck. You're intuitive as fuck. It's like you're successful as fuck. It's just like, and I'm telling you, it's something about, I don't know why I keep getting something about y'all body. Like, I don't know. And then look, queen of swords reverse. This is bitter, delusional ass bitch. King of swords is out here on the bottom of the deck. So whoever this king of swords is, he was connected to this queen of swords reverse. And she's very jealous, spiteful, vindictive, like bitter. You know what I'm saying? She ain't dealt with her shit either. So they both are just losers. It's like this person wants to get back with you. But this person that he was with is just like so bitter about this whole shit. Like, look at this shit. Yeah, because the secret was revealed. The truth came out. Some shit was exposed. So you could be a cancer in this Queen of Swords energy. Somebody out here is just so mad. They're so cold-hearted and detached. This, this, this Queen of Swords versus this bitch right here. This artificial heart. This bitch just refuses to believe that this shit has ended this way. Like, she never thought this masculine was going to leave her or come out from under her spell work or something. Like, this bitch is crazy. Yeah, Knight of Pentacles reverse, and this person is a bum. This Queen of Swords reverse 
energy, this person, this female, this karmic woman that this masculine energy was with, she ruined this person's life. Look at that. Nine, Knight of uh, Pentacles reverse. She's killed this person's spirit. Now this person, like, they're so insecure and they lack ambition and shit. They don't feel like they could ever do something great with their life because they've been around this miserable ass bitch for too long. Yeah, there are five of swords reverse with the star card reverse out here. There's an Aquarius out here who mind games and backfired on their ass because you moved away from this Aquarius too with the six of swords. Yeah, it's somebody in love with you. King of Cups with the strength card reverse. He's a coward, but he's watching you. Page of swords crying over you. Hang man stuck on you because he realized who he is. Three of Cups is a lot of gossip and shit. This third party situation because he fucked one of your friends. And you're the fucking empress. Period. But anyway, yeah, look at that. Justice reverse. Somebody getting karma. So it could be a Libra. Yeah, nine of swords. Somebody know they fucked up with you. Nine of swords. Somebody is guilty. Okay, they can't sleep. This shit haunts them every fucking night. Because you blocked this person. Seven of wands. Yeah, the tables turn. Will of fortune. Anyway, collective. This has been your reading. I hope that it resonates. And, you know, my work we just started. It's the weekend for y'all, but it's the work week for me. Okay, I got a little shit to do. Um, But please like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good shit. And I will holler at y'all later. Peace.